Alright, what's going on everyone on YouTube? Benny S. Roller, welcome to shelf number 12 of my updated DVD shelf series. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. And we are down to the final three shelves. So we're coming to the end of the series finally after, you know, a long, let's see, three months. So this is the, uh, you know, the first week of the fourth month here. So let's get into it. Actually... No, this is the first, yeah, first week of the fourth month, yeah. So, first we have Ritual. This is a screen media dark side release film from, I think it's an English film. It'll be completely, but it's a backstage, uh, not a back, backwards type of a slasher film. Another backwards slasher film. This is Rot, uh, Reunion of Terror, and this is like a very, like, shiny disc. Strange. Um, I haven't watched this one in a long, long, long fucking time. It's really, really low budget. It's put up by Shock Orama Cinema, which I don't even know if they're still around anymore. If anybody knows, let me know down below. That's a back road slash, of course. We have Rhodey. Uh, That's a fun, like, rock and roll comedy type film with Alice Cooper from 1980. Got Roadkill, Fangoria Presents, not Fangoria Presents, Fangoria Fright Fest is released by Phase 4. Next we have Robot and Frank. This is an interesting film uh, that takes place in the future where robots takes place uh, of uh, retirement homes and they watch senior citizens and take care of them. And it's a relationship between an old guy and... A robot. It's quite interesting. Quite an original concept. Uh, Rocket Science. This is a pretty okay coming of age type film. It's not too bad. Next we have Rock and Roll Space Control. Space Patrol put out by Troma. Uh, yeah. Not watched that one yet. I usually save the shittier ones for not to watch. <laughs> Which is kind of hard with Troma, but there are some good ones. Uh, Rockville Slayer, this is put out by... This is low budget, again. Freestyle Entertainment? Yeah, Freestyle Entertainment, which is... I don't even know if they have any... Release anything anymore, but... Uh, we got Rug River. Bye by Lionsgate from 2012. Um, I think it's like another back... Backwood Slasher film. Uh, we got Rollerball. Classic from 1975. Awesome film. Which I know it has a Blu-ray release by Twilight Times, but it's not really one that I really need. Yeah. There's the camera. It's me. And I'm not wearing my hat, so I feel weird. Uh, we got Rolling Kansas. Uh, this has uh, Sam Huntington in it from... Uh, Fucking Detroit Rock City. I bought this one a long, long time ago as well. Uh, from 2004. It's, it's a stoner movie. Um, trying to find this magical field of pot. Um, yeah, it's... I haven't watched it in a while, like I said. Uh, Room 237. Um, I, just, I do not like this documentary, to be completely honest. I've watched it three times now. And every time I watch it, I just can't get into it. Um... I, I I just think it's a little bit ridiculous. I've talked about it a lot, but um yeah, did not like that one. Oh, uh, we have Roulette. This is a film released by R Squared Films, which is really a low budget film. Um it's kinda you know, the title is kinda self explanatory. Next we have The Ruining, it's put by Troma, shot on video, doesn't say when it came out, but Ruining, <laughs> Rumpel Scaled Skin, this is released by Mark, I think Mark Jones, yeah, Mark Jones, the guy who did Leprechaun, uh, this is out of print, I, so if you ever see a copy of it, pick it up, I got it for cheap online, luckily, but yeah, the movie's terrible. Uh, Running Scared, classic Chicago film. 
Uh, Rushmore, Wes Anderson's film. Gotta get that criterion. Sadako. Uh, this is the conclusion of the Ring series put out by Wogo USA. Why the fuck do I have safe? I must have got this from Family Video a while ago for cheap. Uh, St. John of Las Vegas starring Steve Buscemi. This one's actually pretty good. I haven't watched this one in a while. A long while. It came out in 2009, but um, it's about a guy who's addicted to gambling. It's pretty funny. It's interesting. Uh, Saint Nick, IFC Midnight Christmas film. Sanitarium, not Sanitarium, that's this one. Sanctium, is that how you pronounce it? This one was produced by James Cameron. It's a horror film that people go scuba diving and they find shit and it goes wrong. Uh, Sandman, uh, put out by Magnus. This is a really interesting documentary. It's more documentary than it is fiction about the underworld, you know, the underground horror community. Uh, Fred Fogel's in it and some other people. There's a little bit of a fictional side story in it, but it's mostly, uh, a documentary. It's really, really interesting. I check it out. I actually learned some stuff from that one. Uh, this one's Sanitarium. Uh... Malcolm McDowell and Robert England put out by Image. Not got to this one yet, but Moods told me that's pretty bad, so, you know, I usually take his opinion on films. Uh, Satan's Black Wedding and Crimin Criminally Insane. Man, I'm having a problem. Well, this is put out by Retro Shockorama. Okay, well, when did this come out? 2005, so, just like Rot, this one's pretty old too, so I don't know if they're around anymore. Ah, uh, yes. Satan's Little Helper. This is Jeff Lieberman's uh, semi-new film. It is fucking amazing. It's so funny. It makes me laugh every time I watch it. Um, highly recommend it. It's a good Halloween day type of a film. Really good. Uh, Saturday Morning Mystery, put out by Macabre. People usually think this is like a horror Scooby-Doo ripoff, but... Pretty messed up. I check it out. Recommend it. Uh, Scanner. Still have to get the Criterion release, but um, you know, I guess I'm stuck with the MGM release for now. Oh, uh, we have Scar. I know this is shot in 3D too. Put out by Phase Four from. I think this is a pretty old film. 2007 released in 2009, or released in 2007. Put out on DVD in 2011. So. Pretty old movie. That movie's seven years old already. It's okay. It's not the best, to be completely honest. Uh, Scarecrow. It's a sci-fi original film uh, that has to do with a scarecrow. And, uh, yeah, that CGI is fucking terrible. But um, I have not watched this one yet. Um, I haven't had time to get to it yet. But um, it seems pretty terrible. Uh, Scenic Root, put out by... Image, if I stand corrected. No, Vertical Entertainment. This is about like two guys. They get uh, stranded in a car on a broken side. Of, stranded in a broken car on the side of the road. And they, you know, become enemies. And it's a survival tale. It's alright. Uh, Scorned. This is released by Mark Jones as well. Just like I talked about. Rumple Skilt Skin. Uh, this is a little bit different of a film, I think. I haven't watched it yet, but, um, I think it's like a cheating murder type film. You know, get caught cheating and they girl murder some. Uh, Scream series. I'm not going to talk about these, but... <coughs> Got the exclusive bonus disc, Scream 3, Scream 2, and Scream 1. Scream 1, they're all good, in my opinion. Scream 3, of course, is the worst out of the bunch, but... They're still all good. One of the better trauma films that I wish would get a Blu-ray release is Screenplay. I can tell this film is obviously um, influenced by Ed Wood, both the director and Tim Burton's film. Pretty, But this came out before Tim Burton's film, which is really, really interesting because there's a lot of references in between this and Ed Wood. Tim Burton's Ed Wood, in my opinion, but... It's a fantastic fucking film. I highly recommend it. It's cur it's weird, but it's really, really good. One of the better trauma films. Uh, Seamstress, uh, put out by Image. Uh, this has Lance Hendrickson in it. 
um, from 2009. I know JP talked about this one on the podcast, so I haven't got to watch yet. We have Sentence, put out by Lionsgate from 2006. Um, this is a ghost film. Uh, the Seasoning House, put out by Wago USA. Um, I haven't watched this one yet either, but I've heard really, really good things about it, so... Uh, C. Dick Run with Cal Mitchell. Um, yeah, uh, this is back when Cal Mitchell wasn't really in the spotlight. He's a li he, you know, he's in there a little bit now. Just a tiny bit, but not too much. But uh, this is from 2009. Uh, this is like one of his first movies back in a while, so it's okay. It's about a guy who loses his dick and he tries to find it. <laughs> um, it's alright. It's funny. Uh, seven... This is the, you know, a pretty good addition. Uh, Separation. This is a neorealist type of a film uh, from Iraq. Either Iraq or Iran. Iran. Um, but you could definitely see some neorealism uh, elements in it. It's pretty good. It's, it's pretty depressing. To be completely honest, Session 9, awesome fucking asylum film. Really, really good. One of the best ones out there. Everyone knows about this one. Check it out. It's fucking awesome. Uh, Shadow of the Vampire. Awesome film about the making, the fictionalized making of Nosferatu. Pretty good. William Defoe's really good in that film. Uh, Shadow. I have seen Midnight Slasher film. Some of these films, I have no idea why I still have them on my shelf. I gotta get rid of them. Uh, Shock Festival. This is one of the first DVDs I bought. This is an awesome uh, tribute to Grindhouse and Drive-In films. Uh, there's a the first is this is a compilation of fan-made Grindhouse trailers that are really good. The second disc is all real Grindhouse type trailers, and the third disc I don't remember what it is. Cause, oh. Third disc is an MP3 disc featuring over 300 original radio spots for the most incredible films ever made. Digitally remastered from the original final recording sent to radio stations in the 70s and 80s. So really awesome set. I still think you could get it. I recommend it. It's really really fun watch. Uh, Shock Labyrinth put up by Wogo USA. Um, this is a Japanese film. Haven't watched this one yet either though. So... Gotta get to it. Uh, Shredder. This is a fun slasher, uh, snowboarding, you know, winter type slasher film from 2003. During the dark ages of independent horror, in my opinion, but it's alright. I'm running into movies behind me. Uh, we have Shocker. A fun fucking Wes Craven film. Um, I really like it. I know some people shit on it, so. But I hope it gets a Blu-ray release like, uh, People Under the Stairs just got, so. Uh, we have Shrooms. Put out by Magnet. Uh, this is an okay slash film about, you know, people who do shrooms and get picked off. It's, uh, Shooting April Man's covers fade. It's put out by Shriek Show, who me and Moods were talking about. Shriek Show has to be gone, because they haven't released anything in a long fucking time. So, I don't know if they became another, you know, they merged with either Blue Underground or Synapse or something like that, or what was going on, because... No, Shriek Show hasn't been around. You haven't seen any Shriek Show releases in a while, which is a good thing in my opinion. <laughs> you got Sick Nurses put out by Magnet. Um, this is a fucked up movie from uh, Thailand, I think. But uh, this is a fucking weird movie. So good that we recommend that one. Uh, we got Sideshow. It's a full moon film from... What's the date on it? No date on it, but... Full Moon, I grabbed it for cheap, so... Ugh, this movie fucking sucks. Sighting Heartland Ghost. Uh, this is a ghost film from 2001. It fucking blows. It's so bad. I do Ugh. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Do not recommend that one. Uh, Sightseers. This one's okay. I know some people don't... One of my, my friends doesn't understand the last shot in this film. It's under, understandable, but um, it's it's an interesting film. Uh, Silent, Not, Silent But Deadly, starring Jason Mewes, who doesn't speak more than one line in this entire film. Um, he just stands there, pretty much. and He's the main character, too. I've talked about this one before, but it has some really bad CGI. It, it's, it's entertaining, but 
uh, it's not very good. Uh, the Silent House is the original film. Uh, I think it's Spanish. Yeah, Spanish. It's okay. I was not a fan of the remake, to be completely honest. Um, I saw it in theaters. I was pretty disappointed with it, but that was before I really got into, you know, independent horror like I am now, so... I may have to give it a second chance. Maybe we'll have a new appreciation for it, which I doubt it. Uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1 and Part 2. The Blu-ray just came out, or comes out, on Tuesday, so... Now we have the Arrow release, which is supposedly the better version, even though there's not really any differences. Uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 3 and Part 4. I still need to get Part 5, but... I'll probably have to rebuy the set to get it. Uh, Silver Streak, Gene Wilder, and Richard Pryor, of course. Really funny. It's not their best film together, but it's all right. Yeah, it's a train movie. Uh, Fangoria presents Sin Reaper. Uh, we talked about this one of the podcasts. It's definitely the second best in the series, but still not very good. And Skeleton Crew. This movie is terrible as well. It's about these uh, filmmakers making this film, this horror film, in an abandoned hospital, and shit goes wrong. It's just bad. I do not... <laughs> it's low budget. It's put up by Anchor Bay. Do not recommend it whatsoever. It's pretty fucking bad. So that is my 12th shelf of my DVD collection. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as I drag these movies with me. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at twitter.com slash 22 And as always, I talk to you guys in a week.